the blindside pickpocket. And again, the main thing here is that Datsuk will sneak himself into a blind spot before making this uh, check. So he doesn't come barreling at this guy and just try to hit him or make the check. He actually lets the guy go past him and waits until he's in this blind spot. And this guy, his focus probably goes from skating up, thinking he's past Datsuk, and now he's thinking about probably this guy and what he's going to do with this guy and this guy. And because Datsuk literally enters into his blind spot where he can't be seen, and then he uses that rhythm-breaking uh, canoe blade stick lift, he's able to sneak in and then clear the puck. And that's on the PK, so that's a really nice play, a really good example. Here's another good example, and again, he actually goes and disrupts the rhythm on the strong head side and then sneaks into the blind spot. So he actually disrupts the rhythm, gets into the blind spot, and because he was able to disrupt the rhythm over here and sneak into the blind spot there, he could really capitalize on that play. And again, this is the one we showed in the summary. But even, but Datsu really just hangs out in his blind spot and waits for the perfect opportunity when Hall's attention is not on Datsu anymore. But you can see his head is up. He's thinking about trying to make a play. So he's now about to make a pass. And as he's doing that, that's when Datsu disrupts the rhythm and is able to pick the pocket from the blind spot. Another good example, he'll wait, find the blind spot, sneak in, and there he goes. A um, couple magic mechanics points um, that as soon as he's making these stick lifts, the way he's often balancing himself uh, when he's reaching is with a hip hinge. The way that he's able to get further reach is to get into a nice hip hinge and his going to stick his bum back. Um, so that's the way he's able to counterweight himself and stay nice and balanced. And as soon as he executes the steal, he's going into usually a hip scissor or a 10 and 2. We'll see it. an example of that here. Steal. That's a hip scissor. And there's another hip scissor. So um, using the hip scissor to transition out of it to keep the, um, and there's kind of a 10 and 2 variation. So using the hip scissor or 10 and 2 to come out of it is what Datsuk is phenomenal at as well because once you've pickpocketed, you need to make sure that you're getting away. So I hope you enjoyed this full breakdown of how to check like Datsuk. Um, use these cues and patterns to improve your own checking. They've worked for me and a lot of our Train 2.0 members uh, who have already tested them. So hopefully they work for you. Please leave your comments and feedback and good luck with that.